Yeah, I think um, I think it's yeah, it depends on the child, really, doesn't it? Because uh, some kids. That's what the cats say. That's, well, <laughs> it's true, and you know, it's it's true though. You know, it's you know, it should really be a case by case basis. But I can see why the whole thing. But it's it's not really something I'd ever put too much thought into. To be honest. Sargon came back to Twitter and then said something about how being gay means you're a pedo or whatever, and then he got replied to with about 800 trillion pieces of evidence of him being a uh, Did he delete that? Did he delete that? Where'd that, where'd that go off to? He's made some sussy comments. In fact, I think one of the first things he said after he came back was, again, like, defending the idea that children mature at different times. I saw that. Did I retweet that? Not an extreme position to let people love who they want. Carl says, this is a statement indistinguishable from pro activism. Dun, 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 boom, 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 Sun is shining in the sky. Da, 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 God damn, that is one spicy quote. I can't even say it in my own accent because it's so bad. A video from 2014. I think I can be quoted as saying you can young boys. It's actually not as controversial as you think. Depends on the child, doesn't it? The ancient Greeks were pederasts. It was considered... This is now Australian. To be normal, it was mentoring. Nice. Thanks, Carl. The worst thing that I saw was that one time he was on Twitter on his alt account trying to argue that um, you can mature at 17 or something. Or not 17, sorry, 11. My bad. Okay, this isn't, this isn't real, right? The dossier also includes a screenshot of a social media message in which Benjamin said he needs, quote, something to really trigger, end quote, outrage, adding, do you have any underage porn or child porn? I will delete it fast so no one gets in trouble. Because I saw this screenshot, and I thought it was a joke, and I still have to believe that it, that it was like a, a Photoshop. Did they also Photoshop the news article? Or did the dossier include a, f a fake meme? I have to assume that's photoshopped. I can't possibly believe that's real. Here's a clip of Sargon saying the age of consent depends on the child. We're really getting into it, aren't we? Getting into the weeds. I think it's, yeah, it depends on the child, really, doesn't it? I was well under the age of uh, 11 when I started having sex. And so what I like to do is put people on the, uh, on the other side of the argument. It's like, what you have to do is you have to say that someone like me, not anybody else but me, that I was too stupid to appreciate the nature and quality of what I was what I was doing at the time. Hmm. So please, at ten, please convince me I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, I think um, I think it's yeah, it depends on the child, really, doesn't it? Because uh, some kids that's what the cat was saying. That's, that's, well, <laughs> it's true, and you know, it's it's true though. You know, it's you know, it should really be a case by case basis. But I can see why. The whole thing, but it's, it's not really something I'd ever put too much thought into, to be honest. That's a f old meme. All right, all right. Pull it back. Pull it back. Where is that? Oh, uh, no, wait. Pull it. Don't, unpull it back. Unpull it back. Where is that? The, the Where's the one from the Greenwood Outlaw account where he was talking about? Come on. The, the, the. Yeah. Is it this? Any, thank you. You're 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 a you're a treat. Thank you. This was the one, man. This is Greenwood Outlaws. His account. This because he was banned on Twitter at the time, so this was his alt. At first, he pretends it's not him, but everyone at the time knew this was him. So you know, it was like confirmed. So whatever. Italy Donger says, "Congrats on acknowledging humans are not Tamagotchis, which grow and mature at the exact same rate." Now explain the "it depends on the child" comment in the context of an eleven-year-old having sex. And Sargon says, this is literally Sargon conceding that humans mature at different rates. His opponent had just said, you can't tell me I wasn't ready to have sex. And Sargon couldn't because he wasn't there, but he defends AOC laws on the grounds we must have universal rules. And then Diddley says, you don't have to be present to acknowledge that 11-year-olds cannot consent to sex. And then Sargon says, you're not listening to what's being said. Do you believe humans reach sexual maturity at different ages or not? Diddley says, of course, do you think humans can reach sexual maturity at the age of, say, 11 and are therefore mature enough to consent to sex? And then Sargon says, 
but you believe someone who is sexually mature cannot consent to sex purely because of age alone. So what Sargon is essentially implying here that once you've reached puberty, that that it entails the ability to consent to sex. Like he's essentially he's essentially saying, so you think a person can can be sexually mature, like having hit puberty, but can't consent to sex? And then Diddley says, eleven year olds are not sexually mature. And Sargon says, so you do not believe humans sexually mature at different times. Then a third party says, these people are brain dead, a, a, a pedophile ally in the war against uh, the age of consent. Um, then Sargon says, it's like Diddley Donger thinks there's a magical number at which things become magically okay. I wonder what it is, 16, 18? Which Diddley Donger says, it's definitely not 11 like you seem to think. And then the ally to Sargon says, you might want to look up the youngest girls to get pregnant. Which is... Um, yeah, ally in the war against the age of consent. Anyway, uh, just, um, phenomenal stuff here. Truly incredible stuff. Wacky behavior. Pretty strange. All right. It's just, I don't know what to add up to that. It's just very funny that he, he came back on Twitter and, uh, immediately called gay people pedophiles and then was dogpiled underneath all that crap. Vosh lay wacky count. I really like saying wacky when what I actually mean is like depraved and disgusting. It's it's a very funny understatement, you know. I I I, th I think that's very very funny to say, you know. Like what a wacky guy, you know. Because you you all you all know what I'm saying. It's just, uh, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I don't understand why do these guys choose these hills to die on? Like why? Well, Sargon's a special case because I legitimately think he's, like, very unintelligent. Like, uniquely so. Um, there are lots of people on the right who say dumb stuff. He is, I think, just very not bright. Uh, which, you know, is cool. Uh, it's great, you know? Yeah, he's a real rap scallion. You guys know how it is. Sargon used to be left, right? Well, no. Um, it's, it's kind of like the libertarian pipeline, basically. You, you, ha you see this path for a lot of people where they call themselves liberals or classical liberals or libertarians, where they say they're socially progressive and they tend to stay neutral on like economic comments, sometimes even a little bit left-leaning on economic comments. But while they're like socially liberal, what they actually mean by that is that they support some like nebulous ideology of equality that isn't any of the existing ideologies of equality. Like they're pro gender equality, but anti feminist. They're pro racial equality, but they're like anti Black Lives Matter. They 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 occupy like a superposition, and over time, it becomes more and more clear that whatever like vestiges of social progressivism they hold are really just like cultural norms that have been embedded in them, but in reality, they're actually quite opposed to equality as a concept. And as time goes on, you see people like Sargon go from, like, Bernie supporting, like, left-of-center liberal to being a neo-Nazi. At least I think he's a neo-Nazi. I know he's a white nationalist, and he made some weird tweets about Jewish bankers a while ago, so, you know, it's, uh, it, it's a blurry line. Was Sargon Bernie supporting? Didn't he in, in parts of 2015? I think he did. I could be I could be wrong on that. Oh uh, yeah, do He used to be more left leaning than, than he certainly is now, yeah. Do you think they're dishonest or have very bad introspection? Uh both. I, I think it's both. Um they're not very bright. There's a difference between Nazis and white supremacists. Explain it to me like I'm five. Sure. White supremacists are people who believe that white people uh, either should be made socially preferable in some fashion, legally, socially, culturally, or are innately better in some like uh, genetic sense. Um, they, so it can mean one of those things. Like it can either mean whites are superior or whites should be treated in a superior fashion. Like I feel they're like supreme in that sense. Uh, in reality, most people who believe one of those things believe both. It's very difficult to justify cultural supremacy of white people without also believing in their innate supremacy. And it's very, very difficult to believe in, like, uh, the innate supremacy of white people, but then go like, oh, yeah, we should have cultural equality. You don't see that very often. A white nationalist is somebody who believes that uh, countries in Europe that are considered white and America should be, like, all white countries. They're, uh, they're called, like, ethnostates technically, but white isn't an ethnicity. It's a race. 
um, depending on what type of white nationalist, you might get like more varying degrees of like specificity. So for example, a traditional ethno state would have one ethnic group. Like the Nazis were Aryan supremacists. There were other types of white people they weren't as fond towards, but they were not consistent in that respect. Usually when people say white nationalists, they don't really mean like in an ethno state sense. They just mean like this is a white country for white people. I think most white nationalists these days would be willing to concede that it they can't really make their country entirely white at this point. As a product of uh, multiculturalism and global travel, it's actually really, really, really difficult to do that these days. At least in a country like America or, or England or Germany or any other country that has like a very large uh, multicultural population. But yeah, it's basically the idea that the country should be white people. There are people who will say they're white nationalists without being white supremacists. They are liars. They're lying to you. Uh, people who are white nationalists are by definition white supremacists because they believe in the cultural or legal supremacy of white people. Uh, by definition, they're saying the country is for them. They almost certainly believe as well that white people are genetically superior because usually they will defend the idea of a white ethno state or a white nationalist society on the idea that white people are better for society, uh, that they keep society cleaner and more socially functional and stuff. So there's that. And then a, a Nazi can refer to a couple of groups. It can refer to the actual Nazi party, which no longer exists. Usually people, when they say Nazi, are referring to like, like modern, like, you know, pe people who believe in like the modern iteration of Nazi ideology, of which there are like a million different permutations. But generally, it refers to white nationalists who also uh, have a, a rooted belief in anti-Semitism and like the Jewish question. So it's the idea that like Jews have a global plot to destroy white people by bringing in uh, brown and black people from the third world to destroy white culture and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's basically just a modern iteration of the earlier Jewish question. Um, the earlier Jewish question that was employed by the original Nazis wasn't so much about like the immigration angle, because again, back in the 1930s, uh, international flight was not anywhere near as easy. Like, you know, most countries that were considered white had mostly white people in them. So it wasn't so much about the immigration stuff as it was like the idea of the global like banking system. It's really difficult for Nazis today to lead with the international financiers argument when it comes to the JQ because America is the wealthiest country on earth. Um, not like Germany, which was desperately poor back in the 1930s and had just come off a humiliating defeat in World War I, uh, and was indebted to a good portion of the rest of Europe, uh, America today stands on top of the global financial system. While that doesn't completely negate the financiers JQ argument, uh, it does mean that it's less like emotionally resonant, so they tend to focus on the immigration angle. So basically, the vast majority of white nationalists are also white supremacists, and vice versa, and uh, all you really, like, colloquially have to be in order to be a Nazi is to be a white nationalist and a white supremacist who also believes in the Jewish question because most, like, subsequent ideological precepts of Nazism tend to follow from that. As for the question as to, um, as for the question as to how many, like, people are Nazis, I got the God's honest truth for you, okay? Right now, mainstream Republican talking points are Nazi talking points. Whether or not the people who listen to them become Nazis really depends on how well they pay attention and how far they go into those beliefs. Um, all of the precepts are there. Uh, white supremacy and white nationalism are full-on, like, upfront talking points now for a lot of mainstream Republican politicians and pundits. At least up until really recently with the Kanye stuff, uh, they tend not to touch on anti-Semitism directly. They spread every anti-Semitic conspiracy theory the Nazis believed in without naming the Jews. So cultural Marxism used to be cultural Bolshevism or cultural Judaism. You know, no points for guessing which ideology that came from originally. Uh, you know, the idea of like immigration, uh, threatening the white race, again, mainstream talking point with Tucker Carlson, a bunch of politicians. Uh, right now, the Republican Party is a party of the Nazi ideology. They just don't commit to their points as hard as the Nazis did. They might one day, but it wouldn't take, if they chose to do that, to commit to them, it wouldn't be like a shift in their ideology, only in their rhetoric. You get the difference? It wouldn't require them to change their positions on like all this stuff. It would just require them to 
double down and commit to, to use different terms and language for the existing points, uh, which is not good. It's probably not good. Did you know the Nazis sometimes changed the official ethnicity of some Jews, like for wives of soldiers who showed bravery in battle? Um, it's all a social construct, and they used to know. Well, uh, they they are. It, all it takes is to go on 4chan to see the big like schizo posts of like which people at Disney are Jewish for you to know that they know that this isn't real. Like again, I get called Jewish. Uh, you know, my uh, my lineage is Polish and Irish Catholic, both. Um, you know, if you if you go back far enough, you know, not to say I have any knowledge of my family's history in this sense, but in Poland, we would not have been the groups targeted or put in ghettos. I'll say that much. No, we would have. Uh, it was it was deep Catholic roots there. Um, but but they'll throw around. It's it's like a cultural thing. It's like, oh, well, you disagree with me? Well, then you you you're ideologically Jewish, which means that I will now assign to you the the sort of ethnic category. It's 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 meaningless. It's all meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. Is that like how turfs always know, but they don't actually? Yes. Oh, another Sargon post. Oh, we can't, guys. Sargon is really stupid. If we spend all day on him... I know he's back on Twitter, but he's going to say like six dumb things a day. Fine, last one. Sensible centrism is reducing legal and illegal immigration to zero. All right, we can stop right there. Okay, yeah. Um... Sensible centrism is uh, when you uh, have a blood quantum to establish citizenship. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha. Oh yeah, if you're watching, by the way, then it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel. I know what you're thinking. Subscribe to a political channel? <laughs> what, 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 what am I, some kind of nerd? Yes, and I can help you with that. I don't just talk politics here, okay? We talk game strategy, okay? We talk pussy navigation, all right? We talk ass resonance, all right? This is the stream for you. Uh, but the first step to overcoming your, your personality problems uh, is to accept that they exist. So commit to it, be a nerd, sub to the politics channel, uh, and we'll get through this together.